Week 9 of the East County Game of the Week brings me to Spring Valley, California, East County part of San Diego, where I am here at Mount Miguel High School for this big, big, big matchup between the Granite Hills Eagles and the Mount Miguel Matadors. Granite Hills comes in off a tough loss against Cathedral last week, 52-6. to This isn't just any ordinary bounce back week for them. They, This game could possibly decide seeding implications when the postseason hits in November, especially if these two teams meet up possibly in the Open Division Championship or in the playoffs somewhere in Open Division D1. This isn't just a normal game for Granite. They're going to have to come in with their stars such as Maxwell Turner and Brendan Lewis. They have to step up tonight against a Matadors team that is coming off a really good feel-good win against Helix on the road. They come back here at home ready to take on this juggernaut in Granite Hills. These are two top 15 teams in the county, possibly top 10. Maybe you see both of these teams in the Open Division Championship. Who is going to come out on top? Time to find out on the PPR Hogcast. We begin the night in the first quarter with A.J. Stowers and the Mount Miguel Matadors getting stopped on third down with a sack by the Granite defense near midfield. Little appreciation shot right there. The moon was out and it was humming in that night sky. Second drive for Mount Miguel after a three and out by Granite. Cass pass is caught down the middle by Paris Vernon in the slot then off the match point. That is A.J. Stores on the read option keeper down the left sideline, able to pick up the first down and then three-step drop, able to hit his man. That is Ezell Buchanan down that right sideline, but ultimately that Matador drive would stall into a Clint Edelman field goal, but the Matador's up 3-0 early against this Granite Hills juggernaut team. This is not Max Turner. This is Gage Spalding, the backup running back, getting a couple of carries there. This is a read option keeper now by Zachary Benitez, taking it up to the 32-yard line for a first down. Then a long play fake, throwing it over the top. That ends up being a pass interference on the Matadors, setting up this rollout to the left by Zachary Benitez and finding his number one wideout option, Brendan Lewis, for six. Eagles up 7-3 to three as they did a little Spider-Man celebration right there. You don't think I know that meme. Yes, I do. Look at this punt right here, though, by Granite Hills. Downed at the 1. Mount Miguel would not be able to do anything after that, giving Granite Hills the ball back. And then who else but Maxwell Turner. Yeah, you don't think he'll be a silver pigskin finalist. He probably will be 14 to three granite. And then the next opportunity they get, they try an onside kick and actually recover. So they get the ball on back to back drives. So what can Zachary Benias and the Eagles offense do? Well, draw the Matador's defense offsides on a fourth down. So that was huge. Third and 11, here's Maxwell Turner off a screen, then bam, trucks a guy for a first down for a 12-yard pickup, keeping this Eagles drive going, then Turner up the middle again for 17. Look at him burst down to the five-yard line. He is absolutely explosive and on a tear, and then Zachary Benitez finding Maxwell Turner out of the backfield, putting the Eagles up 21-3, to an early deficit for the Matadors in the first half but it ain't over yet until the fat lady sings that's what the matadors are saying to themselves nice run there by kj shields and then going deep and finding his man in the back of the end zone that is brandon arrington the transfer from helix the speedster the track star able to get his feet in 4 6 21 10 a little Slant route caught by Trenton Ingram and then Maxwell Turner just off to the races once again, breaking tackles, setting up the granite offense for a field goal to start the third to start the second half. That was the first drive of the second half, by the way. 24 to 10. Now here we go mid late mid to late third quarter. Mount Miguel, first possession of the second half. Granite had the ball for a while and then just uh, Matadors 
trying to drive down the field here. That was Jaden Hunter on the run. And then how about one of those long passes uh, yet again? That is Delonte Williams. Last time we covered him, he caught a touchdown against Helix, able to do it again this week. And then Paris Vernon and the Matadors get the ball back. A little screen pass, bubble screen right there. They're going to do the same thing again. A little screen pass, this time to the left side, able to find his way for 12 there for another first down for the Matadors. Fourth and goal, a snap over their head. Uh, actually, this is third and goal snap over their head. And Stowers tried to get down to the one, but couldn't. Fourth and goal, snap over the head again. Granite Hills defense chasing him, ultimately going to take him down. But they call a penalty for a horse collar tackle. Actually, that was Paris Vernon on the direct snap. And then the real fourth and goal play is another stop by the Granite defense all around. Great defense by Granite through all of the, pretty much the turbulence and the the uh, hardship that they were facing on that drive defensively. Maxwell Turner able to get them out of their own end zone and then he just runs, 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 runs for this touchdown to put Granite up to possession. 31-17 at the time. Will Mount Miguel punch back? They sure will with this nice little run by Jaden Hunter setting them up in the red zone, or they were in the red zone, but deep in the red zone territory. Jaden Hunter once again, a couple of penalties set him back. There's time they're down around the 20-yard line. Goal to go, slant route, caught. Touchdown, Mount Miguel. That is Azel Buchanan doing his thing. Excuse me, that yeah, that was Azel Buchanan in the back of the end zone. And then how about this? A return for touchdown on special teams by who else? Zachary Benitez getting it done. That increases the lead to two possessions. That ultimately ended up being the final nail in the coffin as the final score was 45-30. This is a... A snap that Stores was not ready for and recovered by Jonathan DeLeon. 45-30 was the final. We interviewed Turner and Lewis. Road win like this against Mount Miguel, how does this one feel? Uh, it feels amazing, to be honest. Uh, the hard work that we put in, you know, we came off that loss against Cathedral, you know, that really that really stuck with us. So we knew we had to come in. Mount Miguel's a great team. Uh, they've been improving each week. So we just came out here. We had to do what we had to do, and it was a great, tough win. You got the scoring started with your touchdown the second, and then you got the return touchdown late in the game. What was working out there? I mean, you know, me and Zach, me and Zach finally uh, were able to connect. You know, we've, we've been working hard at practice, and then the kickoff return touchdown, you know, I was just eager to get my opportunity. Shout out to everybody that blocked for me. I was able to find a hole and then the rest is history. That is it here for me out east live from Mount Miguel High School. This is Jacob Morgan saying good night.